Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today I thought I would do another little section of the nude lipsticks. And so I had a request to do the nude, nudie pinks. Today. This one was so kind of tough because a lot of times, if I have a really light pink lipstick, I kind of consider it a nude pink. But I tried to just keep it to those creamy colors that tend to lean to the pinker side. Does that make sense? <laughs> I hope so. So, and also what I did is I, and this was tough because I love lip liners. I never met a lip liner I didn't like. So, I picked out, let's see, six of them here. And I'm sure after I do this, I will wish I picked out another six. But, so I picked out six lip liners that I think go well with these and a lot of different lipsticks. So, um, I figured I would do... I'm just going to wing it. Let's just start. <laughs> so the first one I picked up here is the YSL number two. And this, I believe, I cannot remember if it's called Nude Beige. I can't remember the name of it. But you can see that it looks like a beigey pink color. And I'm going to swatch it. And it's real smooth. The thing that I did not like about these when I first tried them is that they are kind of slick on your lips and you do have to reapply but the color is so pretty and I think you just kind of get used to it and especially with a lip liner now I do not like to put gloss over these because I feel like they're shiny and they're kind of slick enough so you can see you really just don't need anything over it and I think maybe that's what I was trying to do is put something over it so that's the first one is YSL number two. It's Rouge Volupte or Volupte. Okay, I'm gonna pick a lip liner to go with this. And so this is one of my all time favorites. This is probably the third one I've had. I've used this long before I started doing YouTube. And it is the Lancome New Natural Mauve. And this is just a really good lip liner. It's goes with a lot of different things so I'm gonna so that's a really line. good combo and I think that's something you could wear most every day no matter what color you're wearing or no matter what color your eyes were so the next one is a new one that I've gotten and I have not worn this a lot and I'm anxious to get these back in in circulation in my collection but this is the Tom Ford and I believe blush nude is what this is called and I cannot see the number because it's so small so let's put this right beside number two and it looks like this one has a little bit more, oh, it's very, very close. Maybe a little bit more of a pink tone. And a little bit, I think a little bit better okay, texture. Okay, this makes sense. This is the Too Faced Perfect Lips Lip Liner. And it says it's the only lip liner you'll ever need. And this one is very, very, very similar to the Lancome Natural Mauve. So let's do a little design on here and see. How close it looks <laughs> very very close I don't even know if you could tell the difference in those two so okay the next one is one that this was sent to me by one of my subscribers and it is a lip toxel rouge soft blush and it's really a neat it goes on it goes on kind of slick but then it I hate to say dries but it really lasts a long time so, and it is a little bit more pink. Finally, something a little different. But it is a true just blush color. Let's go with okay. the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip 2C. This is a really good lip liner. This lip liner can go pink or peach, so that I think. pinky nude lip is going to give you more of a pink color. <laughs> There's just no good way for me to do this. <laughs> so I'm just doing this it. This one, a bunch of you guys have told me about this one. And this is really a good lipstick. If I were going to, you know, last time I said the Clarins Nude, and I stand by that, I think that is just a fabulous lipstick. This is another one. And it's by Lancome, and it's just called Pale Lip. And you will see this used a lot on magazine covers. Like a lot of times when I look at what they're wearing, they're wearing this. So, and this is a... It's just a light pale pink, but it's a nudie pink. 
and you can see it's got maybe a little bit more of the blue tone to it. So for that, I would probably This one use is a great lip liner for nudes, and it is the, or I've told you about it before, it's the Revlon Rose. So let's do um, maybe the top of it with Rose, and that'll give you one look. Like that. And then this is one of my all-time favorite lip liners, and right along with the Clarins Nude and the Lancome Pale Lip, I think everybody would enjoy this lip liner. I just don't think there's anybody that wouldn't like this. With some, you could use this with browns. You could use this with the, um, like the Clarins Nude. You could use this with everything. And it is the Estee Lauder Fig. And when I first got this, I got it to wear with my Rose Amethyst, which I'm not bringing my Rose Amethyst out here because even though I consider it kind of a pinky nude, it does have more of a pink, um, a cool pink, almost, I hate to say purpley, but a, what am I trying to say? A lavender pink tone. So I think it's more of a pink than it is a nude. So I'm gonna go underneath with the fig and that'll give you an idea of what the fig would do. So you can see that the fig is a little bit, has a little bit more pigment and is going to take it a little bit darker and not as pinky purple toned. It really works good with a lot of lipsticks. Let me just do a swatch of it on its own so you can see. Don't be, when she said fig, I thought, gosh, you know, I don't like anything that's in the browns, but it's not. It's kind of like a plummy brown tone, a really good nude. You can see my lips are getting bigger and bigger. And this <laughs> lip liner I actually just got yesterday, and I have it on today. I have it on with, what did I put on today? I put on Pale Lip today. So I put this on with the Lancome Pale Lip. And it is Baby Buff by Clinique. And it's probably similar to something else I have, but to be honest, the lady was so nice that was helping me look at everything and she really liked this and she did a lot of different combinations where she filled the entire lip in with this and then just went over it with a like a sheer pink gloss and it looked so pretty that I got it. I figured she had worked so hard I wanted to give it a try. But um, here it is by itself right here. So it's just a, you know, just a buff pink color. I probably did that darker. And so today that's what I did is I filled my went around my lips and then filled them entirely in with this and then I went over it with the pale lip and then my last you know what I'm telling a story I did not use pale lip I thought about using pale lip but I ended up using this now that I saw it I remember it and this is the hourglass grace and I hope that a lot of you have already gotten this this is a great one you can see I've started dinting it in but this is a beautiful glossy pinky nude you can see looks like the two that are the glossiest are the i don't know maybe it's just the way i'm holding my hand but the grace just is gorgeous and that is what i have on and you can see it gives a good shine it feels really good it feels um it has a similar feel to the clarins nude in that it feels um it's not so slick and it's not dry it just has a good almost lip balm feeling so i'm glad that you can see these a little bit better than the last ones so you can see these are my favorites um and i guess the most nude would probably be the tom ford and then maybe the hourglass and then the pale lip would probably be the most pink but they're all beautiful. So I hope that helped a little bit. And I know that this, my camera is not so precise and it's tough to really see, but this will just give you a direction. I mean, go to the counter and try them on, especially with nudes. You really need to see if they go with your skin tone because it really depends on what color your skin is, what color your lips are originally. And, um, you know, I've been meaning to update you on this, so I'm gonna go get it right now. That was interesting because I just went and 
I did take some pictures of my hand and if it turns out, I'll put them on my blog. But last time I did not have a good, last time it just looked like my hand was greasy. <laughs> but um, so I think the lip liners will help it show up. So I did take some pictures in the sunlight. And when I was taking the swatches off of the back of my hand, the one, the lip liner that was the toughest to get off was the Revlon Rose. That lip liner lasts forever, it lasts all day. So that's a really good point about that. But this is the, I don't know if you guys remember me getting it, the Benefit Lip Plump. And what it is is a lip primer and it does not um, plump. It just, what it does basically is fills in your lips and you, it gives you directions on the side and you literally just put like a dot, a dot, a dot, a dot, and then you take your finger and you spread it out. And it has like a, um, kind of like a gummy texture. And let me tell you, if you want to blank out your lips, this is the way to go. It makes them just, it makes them beautiful. It makes them real full looking and really takes every bit of color out. The thing is, to me, it takes too much color out. I don't really ever want my lips to be that nude. I like my lips to show up somewhat. But if you are someone that really wants to blank out the color of your lips, that is the thing to do. It is just provides a great base and it's kind of a little bit tacky and it really, that's why I haven't gotten rid of it. Even though I don't use it very often, I do love the way it, makes my lips feel and I like the way it smooths them out and just is such a great base that I think you know well gosh one day when I'm wearing you know a red or a gloss I really need to experiment more with it but I don't like it with nudes I don't like it for the reason that I bought it because it just makes my lips just disappear so I just I've been wanting to update you on that I do like it I do think it's a good product but I don't use it very often just because I haven't found that perfect combination if you use it and like it with something let me know what it is I'm thinking it might be good with like some of the darker glosses like raspberry or something like that but um so I'll try to play around with it and let you know but if you are somebody that really wants nude lips like you want you've got dark hair and that looks great on you I'm sure but um this would be good so I am going to do a quick outfit of the day and let you go. With, I have on this sweater that you guys probably remember I just got at, um, it looks like it's crooked here. I just got it at Express a couple months ago and it is low cut. I wish, I really want a nice black infinity scarf. So if you know where I could get one, please let me know. And then it, it's weird, it's kind of long. Um, so I just have been pulling it up some because I kind of like my belt buckle showing. And these are the jeans, the Robins jeans. And the best thing about these is this. I love that design on the back. So I really want that to show. So I'm just it. And these do go all the way down with yeah. my bag. And then for accessories today, I have on these little owl earrings with wings because I thought they kind of matched the wings on the back of my pants and they were kind of funky. And um, let's see, my hair is still, I hate to, I, you know I hate to give a bad review on anything, but my hair ha is, not, is still not right after that bumble and bumble. It was so stripped that it has not felt that way since the time that the girl colored it funky and they had to do a shampoo cap which basically meant they stripped every bit of color out of it and I don't know if I'm going to use that again I don't know I'm gonna have to just talk to the girl that does my hair and um, so last night I used my good shampoo my Shu Yumira the Silk Bloom and it feels better but it's still not the same so I may just not use that Bumble and Bumble and unless I really think that it needs it or something I don't know um, I hate to think that such a good product with such a good reputation would be that, I don't know, maybe I didn't use it right, I don't know. But anyway, it's still just not the same. It's still um, not, doesn't have that silky feeling and it's flat and tangly feeling. Like last night, even my bangs were tangling at the end. It was terrible. Okay, I'll quit complaining, but 
this I was thinking today this is something that will take your sexy away there's all different reasons that your sexy will leave and one of them is when something like this happens like say your hair is you mess up your hair or it's not doing right or um, your face is broken out or um, just something happens like that that's one of those things that can it's a temporary take away your sexy but it will come back you just have to hold out for a little bit and just know that it's coming back and not let it because I mean it could you know when I feel like this I don't even feel like going anywhere but anyway I hate to be dramatic but you know what I mean so um unlimited Elizabeth ring St. Kilda's love ring wedding ring and my nail polish is the um Orly Confetti, the light pink one that I love so much. It's one of my all-time favorites. And then my Champagne Fossil Aluminum Watch. And the fragrances I have on, oh, they smell so good together. I put on the Prada Candy first, and then I put on a squirt of the Jimmy Choo. And um, they just go good together. That Prada Candy really goes well with the winter scents. It mixes well. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Tuesday, and hopefully I will continue with this nude lipstick series. I think I have two more little sections, and um, then we'll be through with that, and then we can get on to something else. So have a good day, and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.